this trip came together, we uh, wanted to do a girls' trip really bad. And we had met recently Brittany and been talking to her about the outdoor uh, hunting lifestyle. And she sounded very interested in wanting to get involved in that. Although I had never done anything like this quite before, I jumped at the opportunity to be part of that and challenge myself, so here we are. <laughs> we thought, what a great opportunity to, to make a big trip out of this. I called uh, our friend Caleb. And he sent us over to Nevada, who we also knew and definitely his first all-girl client, so <laughs> we uh, thought we'd give him a little run for his money, too. Julie was interested in coming out and having a women's weekend and being able to hunt odd out together. We were able to all come together and make that happen. So I was really excited to come down to Texas and stay at Cibolo Creek Ranch. Uh, it's a beautiful lodge that we're staying at, very historic uh, place. We're actually staying um, at an original fort that they built. Uh, it was the first outpost between the Rio Grande and this area, so that's super cool. Lots of history here. It's almost like an artifact museum. The surrounding lands are uh, full of really gnarly slate rock and lots of thorns and it's a challenging environment to hunt in really. Mountains surrounding it, there's high mesas and everything out here wants to poke you, stick you and make you very uncomfortable and good for hunting these sheep in this is quite a challenge. It gave the girls a good opportunity to make this a hunt of a lifetime. First day, uh, we're sitting up on this super steep outcropping of rocks, and it's uh, steep on both sides. Super dangerous stuff where the odd ad like to hide. That's why they're kind of fun to hunt. Uh, we came across a ridge that uh, is pretty steep. If you fall, you're going to be done uh, on either side. So, in that herd, we had found one ram that had a broken back leg. He was getting around pretty well, but uh, it was broken in a really bad spot. We had our sights on him most of the day. Uh, really, we were waiting for a larger, older ram to come out um, that I might take one of those. However, that opportunity really didn't present itself. So towards dusk, we decided to go ahead and take uh, this wounded animal. I made a about 450 yard shot. It was a high angle a shot and super challenging. Good job. Good job. In this case, that was challenging. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Super challenging. Got him down and then... All I know is we're standing on a ledge and you don't want to go right or left. It's very steep. It's sheep country. The guys had a lot of fun hiking up that mountain to get him. It was kind of dangerous. Being able to manage this, manage things that way and be able to help make those decisions so that they're not suffering in the long run that stewardship's very important here. So Brittany and I were uh, put together to hunt together, which was really exciting for me to be a part of harvesting her first animals. Time, I didn't really know what to expect, so I just went into everything with a very open mind, and I feel very fortunate to have had Lindsay by my side to just kind of pick her brain and watch her as led first when it came, when we actually spotted the javelina. So to be able to kind of watch and learn from her was great. I also had an amazing guide, um, Caleb Wright, who I learned a lot from as well.
run into some javelina and that was actually my, um, my first shot. It was such a great experience. Like I said, I didn't know what kind of emotion I would feel from initially spotting an animal through the scope. down to pulling the trigger and then walking up on that animal and what that would feel like. But I felt really good about every aspect of it. So day two was my turn up at an ADAD. And we had been glassing all day and driving to different spots all day and got on this really great ram and got set up. And it was a almost 600 yard shot. It was difficult. I, I was very uncomfortable in my shooting position and I felt comfortable enough to take the shot. I hit him. Uh, it was not a clear uh, through the heart lungs shot. It did stray with the wind. There was a little bit of difficulty because we had a wind coming out of we weren't accounting for that because it was coming around the back side of the mountain ended up taking two more shots and did get him in the vitals and uh, you know I'm, I'm happy that I was able to get this ram and I'm very pleased with him and and very thankful um, I did not feel the best after that hunt though I you know pride myself on the fact that I make these one-shot hill situations, and this one didn't turn out to be like that. I was a little heartbroken, very upset with myself, um, you know, but you, you just can't be perfect all the time. The opportunities to learn, because everything's not bench shooting, everything's not in a controlled scenario. You know, I'm, I'm glad I had Nikki by my side. She really helped me out, and Nevada was amazing and with his advice and, and of course my friend Josiah was you know very helpful and supportive. I will take that with me and I will learn from this situation and I will do better next time. So on the second day we scouted um, and we actually ran into my ram. We saw him on the face of a mountain and there really wasn't a good shot for me to take during the morning. He would crawl up on the yucca plants and actually was eating these blossoms and one of the first times when I really realized how large he was was when he was behind that yucca plant and you could just see his horns come around both sides. It just sends this spike of adrenaline through you when you see that. We lined up, we were actually able to stalk in on him a little bit, laid down, made sure I was going to get a good shot. I shot from about 510 yards. Got him. Yes, yes. ma'am. It was one of the most exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to breathe during the entire <laughs> Just a great experience to experience it with Brittany too there. She was, I think, as excited as I was to see me get it. It was just a, it's a, it was a great moment. So second day, um, I was going for another ram, and it was really getting close to dark. We'd been hunting with Nikki all day, never could find anything that we wanted. Uh, we decided to come up top to the higher elevation. 150 yards to the left, there's a, a, a nanny and a couple of others. We got up in this clump of rocks, and there was Audad like 10 feet from us and there was a few of them that were looking at us. Right off the cliff to our to our right, there was there was Audad still coming up to another herd that was out in front of us. But we did end up finding a awesome ram in a group of about 50 other rams. It was just super cool. Very challenging, however, to try to stay on the one ram that we, you know, we wanted to take. The he was the lead male in the group and we were able to get Nikki. Uh, set up behind a rock. He, he gave me a shot, turned broadside, and I was able to take him. We were able to put a hell of a shot on that ram. Super rewarding, actually, just the motion of it. It was real. I haven't felt like that before, where I feel like just crying. I don't know, it's crazy. 
excited to see him. Oh, wow, that was crazy. was probably one of my more rewarding hunts that I've done, and, I, and I'm not sure why that is. Maybe the challenge of the shot, and he was a beautiful ram. The group itself, I and mean, that was the lead ram, they stopped, and they all piled up around that ram until he was, when he was done. And it was just a, kind of a solemn moment of respect for the animal, and um, it was, on a different note, very cool to see them act and interact with each other like that. I mean, we, we couldn't have asked for a better opportunity for Nikki. Uh, we actually all jumped into the truck together to hunt, and it was for uh, a javelina for me. Uh, we were glassing, and there was a little bit of weather coming in, so it was a little bit windier. Started The weather started to get a little bit nasty, so I was worried that we weren't going to be able to get on one. These javelina, uh, they run in pretty big groups and they can be destructive on the crops. And coming off this ridge and we look over and there's a lone javelina. We slam on the truck brakes and we jumped out and I'm running after Nevada and we're side hilling to try and get up closer to him where I could take a good shot. This really large boar um, made a really good shot uh, from about 200 yards. and then we walked in on him and I have got to say, this boar had the biggest, gnarliest teeth <laughs> you've seen. God! Jeez, she's stone and old. One. Oh my gosh. Look at that. He gosh. probably needed to take her out. Crazy. Oh, holy Look heck. Oh. Look at this, all the, all the teeth Oh my gosh, down. yeah. So old, old. And he would actually, he had all these markings of being in fights with um, with other boars, and so he was really kind of cut up and tore up. And for me, it's kind of the character of an animal that kind of shows a story of of its life. And and when you can have these different little things to take away from it, you know, it's just me. The last day of hunting, I was able to get another chance at an Audad. We were, we were up early, double trucks, uh, glassing. When we glassed up one herd, we had glassed them up and they were coming down towards us at you know, probably a half a mile. And another one up in the ridge on this saddle. We look off to the right and there's four rams walking this ridge. Immediately when I glassed up that lead ram, I was like, damn. He's big, we gotta get him. Big, mature ram, a big neck, big shoulders. This one went quicker, it went faster. It was like on it, on it, on it. Gotta hurry before they went around the, the mountain. They were- Closed that distance, but we had a steep angled shot. Had to kind of perch on the side of a <laughs> ledge again. And this time I got set up, got him in, quickly found him through the scope, took a breath and perfect one shot. It was very, very happy with the whole thing this time. And she was able to put, put a hell of a shot on a big ram. And this time was fun because all the girls were on this hunt with me since everybody had already tagged out, so. The arduous climb to get to him was, was like earning that, we earned that ram. Straight up, all shell rock, uh, lots of cactus again, and uh, you know, making our way up there, all I kept thinking about was, I gotta bring this ram down. <laughs> and so we got all of us traipsing up the mountain, you know, pictures with everybody, and it just made it so much more fun too to have all of my friends with me and you know, joining me in this celebration and. Um, all that camaraderie with all of us was, it just made it so special. To watch Julie take that opportunity to look to, for herself to 
pack that ram out, that was, that was pretty cool to watch. It was very difficult. That was a challenge. Uh, you used every single step. You had to calculate where you're putting your poles. And that was a tough little pack out right there, straight down in shale rock. But as everybody keeps telling me, that sheep hunting, so. It was difficult, it was hard, but you know what? I like when I have to work for it and, and it gives you just even that much more sense of accomplishment. And so when I got down there, I hooped and hollered and I was so excited that I made it down alive. <laughs> So on day three, we were um, focused primarily on finding my ram because at that point, um, everyone had, um, had found theirs. All of our guides, all of the ladies kind of joined forces and were able to experience that whole day together, which meant a lot to me. We had spent a long day scouting, trying to find, find rams, looked over a over hundred sheep couldn't really get anything that we really wanted. Once we, um, we spotted this particular ram, it was go time. We, we all got to where we needed to be. So within minutes, I was set up. Nevada Grassy was right by my side to actually walk me in. And we're walking through placement of that animal where it was. Finally, when he was in a position that I felt comfortable enough taking the shot, So after that, um, my adrenaline was certainly uh, going and oh, now I know what it feels like. Brittany placed a hell of a shot and maybe went 20 yards and was down. It was an overwhelming amount of emotion that I experienced. I was very confident that I could take on and be successful at this challenge, but when I actually did conquer it, it was something to, to take a lot of pride in. Walking up on it for the first time was truly an experience that I'll never forget. Thank y'all all so much. <laughs> okay. It was definitely one that I'll be able to have memories and stories of for a lifetime to share with other people. It has been one of my most favorite trips ever. Just the camaraderie, the laughter, the hunting, the people here. Those experiences are things that you just, uh, you will remember forever. And uh, ladies, when we hunt together, I mean, it's just really cool to support each other. And But when you go and you, you put yourself in this type of environment and position and you take on an experience like this together, you're certainly gonna grow closer together just in, in friendship, the camaraderie of the, the sport itself and as individuals. I'm here and I'm experiencing this with some wonderful women. We're all really good friends. We've become even closer on this trip. We've had such a great time together. It really has been a wonderful week um, experiencing everyone's shots and emotion. Um, our guides were amazing. This is definitely one for the books, one I'm going to remember always. I'm going to cherish these memories that we all made together and 